Libra Rising, Sandra from ForYourChi.com. This is your career reading for 2023. Thanks for being here with me. Well, I wish I could tell you that the career reading looked as good as the money. It doesn't. This sort of echoes to me, though, that there's going to be at least one job change for you in 2023. I mean, I guess you could stick with the same job if you wanted to. However, um, the energy just looks too rough and choppy if you were to stay. Suffering in silence, you doing all the hard work by yourself in the first quarter. You're not asking for help. However, help is available to you. The Libra should ask for help, although I'm not here to tell you what to do. Do whatever you want. You're going to anyway. Look for a sign. Here we go with more um, answers from your own intuition, right? This is how you feel about the situation. You feel like you need to ditch it. So that's probably correct. And they're giving you a timeline within the next few weeks. So I'm saying, so, you know, January to February would be an ideal time to leave if you're not going to ask for help. If you are going to ask for help, I would say ask and then wait and see what happens. Um, I'm also hearing in the Libra, I know, is not going to like this. I'm also hearing give them an ultimatum. Um, you know, if I don't get help for X, Y, Z in this in these areas, I'm I have no choice but to look for a new job. I don't want to look for a new job. I like it here. I like you, blah blah blah. You know, but I won't have a choice. Something like that. Your second quarter emotional loss. There's someone missing, or there's something missing here. This could be you missing your benefits. This could be you missing someone that used to work with you that you liked. This could be you having change of bosses. You like the, the old boss and the new one comes in. It's not so great. This could be you missing your old, old job. Okay. Be assertive. So this tells me that whatever is missing here, you are not going to be able to live without it for much longer. So this probably isn't a person, isn't a person. This probably is more like something like benefits or something like that. Okay. This could be vacation time where you don't have enough and you need more. Your third quarter. I have to stop myself from saying houses every time. Third quarter, 2023, conflict and defeat. This is you walking away from arguments, from customers, from clients, or uh, from coworkers or your supervisor and not engaging. There will be a recovery period with regard to this spat. So that's good. We know these things happen, especially in the workplace. When you're dealing with a bunch of people who aren't in the best of moods. And then the fourth quarter at the end of 2023, triumphant success. Now the good news about this card, it's a double-edged sword, right? It is the Ace of Swords in traditional tarot. And it means, yes, there will be a victory. However, there's going to be a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that are shed before this victory is won. It will not be won in 2023. You have to keep going. Okay. The tough part of it isn't over yet in 2023. And they're telling you, don't stop, which is always the message of the Ace of Swords triumph and success anyway. When I say this to a client, the message is always, you have to keep going. Your work is not done. So that this oracle card echoes the tarot, and I love it when it does that. Okay, so that's a wrap, Libra, for 2023. Many blessings to you. Drop me a line and let me know how it's going. Take care.